Hey guys, Elite here, and uh, today I'll be showing you how to make uh, the sun effect I had in that video. Um, that kind of looks like no lighting effects, but it's like a Sony Vegas version, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, it is very good for people who only want to use Sony Vegas because they don't want to use um, After Effects because how complex it is. I'm not sure about you guys, but I found uh, After Effects kind of intimidating when you first open it. Um, I know how to use it. I don't have it on my computer currently because I uninstalled it because I couldn't use um, what's called uh, Real Smart Motion Blur, so I didn't bother with it anymore. So, uh, so I was showing you how to make the no lighting effect that I I created basically. Um, so, first thing you have to do is go into elliptical. Well, you have to go into uh, media generators. Go get uh, elliptical white to black. Put that in, and then change number two to completely transparent. Number one pick the color you want the sun to be and uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that so right now the sun you made um, it is not perfectly round so as you can see it's like a giant oval so what you want to do is drag two over and try to make it as perfect of a circle you can I think it's about perfect now still kind of wide but yeah uh, move this around till you have your perfect circle or you think it's a perfect circle. So I already have a color that I already want to be working with which is uh, this color. Uh, it is like a cyan blue, I don't know what to call it. I have a color vision deficiency so I'm not the best guy to go to for colors. So right now you want to uh, copy um, this and create a new video track and then paste the same uh, or paste it. So now you have two of the same uh, clip, this circle and change the composition mode uh, of the first one to screen. So it will screen the first layer over to the second. So now you have a really bright orb. And um, so now you want to go into video effects, go to uh, light rays, and in light rays I already have a preset but I will show you guys how to make it without it. So just go into C and spotlight, or cyan, where do you want to pronounce it? Sensitivity full, strength full, uh, bound radius X full, Y full, feather full, and that's about it. Except for uh, pick the color of the middle of your uh, orb, just so it's the correct color, the the light emanating. So now that's good. Uh, now you want to scroll down, find um, Starburst. I have a preset which I'll be showing you guys it because it is very complicated to get, or my opinion. Like this is already perfect, and I want to show you guys how to make it and make a horrible. Um, kind of like effect. So when you when I put it in, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks pretty awesome. These are all the settings I use. If you want, you can pause the video just to get all these down because I'll be kind of talking through it. So um, all these settings are, I think, perfect. If you can create a more perfect one, sure, go ahead. But that's what it looks like. And at the bottom, make sure effect only is ticked off. Make sure it's ticked or else it won't look this good. If you have it off, you have the orb in the background which will appear shortly because I'm on best full. So yeah, it looks horrible. So keep that on. And then uh, after, that is your sun effect. That's all you really need. So what you want to do is render the video so you have these as one clip. So I already did that. So if I go into Explorer, uh, I have my sun effect which is right here. It's a square, I know, but whatever. So um, now that you have your sun effect, now time to get gameplay. So my videos, random clip, let's pick this one. And we got Wasteland. Okay. So yes, I am new tubing at the spawn. Sometimes I get really annoyed. So uh, make sure the composition, com compositing mode is on screen or else this effect will not work. So now that the sun is screening onto the bottom gameplay, you can go into event pan crop and crop it so it is in the corner. So now the sun is obviously in the corner and as you can see you can barely notice it. How to fix that, go into your video effects, go up to color curves. I already have a preset and it's pretty awesome. So that is what the color curve looks like. It's very simple. This is for brightness. No, this is for brightness. And the other one's for contrast, I believe. Contrast deals with the white ratio and brightness reverse to black. Yeah, I believe so. And then that made it a lot more vivid. And if you do it uh, the same color curve to the gameplay, it makes everything a lot darker, a lot nicer. And the sun, as you can see, stands a little bit 
uh, stands out more. If you make the focal point a lot smaller, you have the sun a lot bigger, which makes it go over most of the gameplay, which most people would like. Um, if you want, I will try to help you guys out for this. Uh, bear with me. Um, I believe if you change the threshold, it will change how big the center orb is. Let me just lower. Okay, yeah. So as you can see, it got bigger. So what if I want it smaller? So that's now it's gone. Maybe I need it full to actually get it. Okay, yeah. So if you fool around with the threshold, you will get the the sun, like the middle part, small. And if you want a little speck, kind of like that, then you can, uh, yeah, like that. Then you can add the brightness so it's not as big, like the center part of the sun won't be as big. And that'll make it look quite a bit nicer. And uh, I hope this helps you out uh, for making the sun effect. Um, comment if it works. And also, please comment on any tutorials you would like to see, be it color corrections I have, anything. Um, and just thanks for watching, everyone.